but yes, finally, finally, finally. Well, of course, we are back with another Pokemon video. It's been about a couple weeks. I might upload this one first. I have, I have another Pokemon review, actually, probably going up sooner or later this week. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, though, but you can I'll try to upload this as soon as I can. I have some of Dragon Ball Legends. I had that big video I had to do today. I had a couple Sonic videos to do, so Sonic's is actually pretty chill right now. Um, Oh boy, end of May is crazy. I didn't expect to do all of this though. So yeah, we are back again. Another one of these videos. Um, we got some new news right here, kind of the release date, which no one has been really doing videos on, but I might as well just, you know, kind of do this, but no one's actually really doing this. I'm low key kind of doing it though. But um, yeah, um, I haven't really seen anyone do these videos, probably because, you know, every time you like for Nintendo spot like that, you kind of get all these leaks, like, you can kind of get in trouble. So I'm going to kind of keep this on the down low, even though you guys are going to pull this one up anyway. So we have the new um, news for RCS Legends, and of course, um, Brilliant Pearl Shining, no, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, we got the um, box art, we got the release date and stuff like that, of course, with that ready. Which I think we already knew about the release date already, though, in November. So, um, yeah, RCS Legends was confirmed as well. Again, all stuff was completely confirmed and stuff like that, of course. Um, yeah, though, um, but I was, I was like, oh, I can actually make a quick video for this. This actually probably shouldn't take up long, though. Give up all thoughts and opinions, of course, but it actually seems really, really good, though. So, um, of course, though, um, and I just feel like I, I felt works. I was gonna do for Sonic, I was for the music for this video, I was gonna do Seaside Hail from Generations, actually, Sky Sanctuary. I was like, Sky Sanctuary actually sounds really nice. This feels perfect because you know, Sky, everything for RCS Legends, because that'll be like kind of like a free all realm of the Pokemon game. That will be released on July 18th. Um, July of uh, January, oh my word, January 28th, um, 2022, uh, which will be next year. So, like that. no further information or details have been provided to us just yet, but in yet, but of course, still in development, like yourself, and like the trailer. Like, again, I'll look the videos, the reaction trailers that I did somewhere around me. I'll do that. Um, yeah, and of course, um, Pokemon Company has confirmed that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will be released on November 19th, 2021. So, that will be actually, yeah, this year, actually. That's true. Actually, it's really good. Um, almost near Sword and Shield's release. I think it's Sword and Shield was 16th or 18th or 19th. So it's kind of releasing those times. Like Sonic, though, they were released in November. Because they want to try the holiday deal so much. So I kind of get why they released it. Plus, you know, get people those waiting times. But again, yeah, a lot of people are so mad about that and stuff like that. Like, oh my gosh, um, you know, like the remakes and stuff like that, the way they are, is like, guys, you're gonna, it's subject to change, so, what well, they could have had just footage they had, like, maybe, like, months ago, or, like, a year ago, because you gotta remember, COVID was a big thing, though, so you do have to remember that on top of your head. Plus, on top of that, as well, for regions, um, for, in all regions, you'll be able, players will be able to, um, to, um, basically get both versions, so you can basically, just confirm you can actually get both versions for both titles for, um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, basically, this is right here, I don't have, um, also released in all regions for players who wish to purchase both titles, which I'll probably end up doing myself. Um, because I mean, why not get Switch? Because actually, I'm actually no, so I actually bought it the game via Switch sooner or later. I'm, I'm not getting confirmation on it just yet, though. But, um, it actually it's really good, though. So I'm happy about this, like the dual pack, because a lot of people do complain, like, oh, I want to get both games, but you know, they sell them separately. Because again, they want you, I mean, again, at the end of the day, Pokemon wants to get, they want you to get both games so you can trade off for, you know, your first exclusives, play the game again. I, I, I didn't care. I, I, I mean, I do care. I mean, by the time I got black and white, I was like, okay, because I got white, I got black a couple of weeks later, and I was like, oh, bug a year later ish. So I was like, oh yeah, I got both versions. So yeah, I, I started going like Sun and Moon, or just Sun and Moon. So yeah, I gotta start playing that. I'll start running them. Even though black and white were my first games, um, I still like the, um, Gotta go back and kind of like you know, I read those kind of like memories and stuff like that, of course. So, yeah, um, because again, for like for me though, because I do actually like playing both games, I don't care if it's the same game or blah blah blah. I like playing both games anyway, I like using different Pokemon, maybe because I like why I did that as well. Like, one version I use Crocodile, one version I use Scrafty, one version I use, I think, like Gudra, one I use, like at the end of the day, I like using both, but at the same time, it's like sometimes it's like ah, maybe I want to add this person to my team, this guy, or who made me house stick or something, but it's like. Whew, I don't know what to add, so um, I, I like that for my personally for me. I like doing that. I like adding both, like you know, I like doing, I like playing both versions. I like getting this Pokemon in this version. I know in Pokemon Shield, those freaking germs. They do what they're doing. They put Meowstic below in Shield, so I cannot get it. I think they put Gudra in Sword. That might have. I think they put Gudra in, I think they put Gudra in Meowstic in Shield. I believe I was like, you PayPal, you Pokemon company, you knew what you were doing when you made those games. You know what you were doing, you scammers. 
Congrats. I'm getting though, right? I'm getting, by the way, I'm joking though. So of course, uh, again, our season is going to release. Um, again, it will be open world environment game and stuff like that, of course, Pokemon this time around. Of course, teamless battles, good environments, all that stuff, we haven't bought that already. Um, what else is on here? Single, it says, oh, single player. No, multiplayer features. Dang, so they were already playing ahead. They just want this. So yeah, I did a whole reaction video for this. I'll get somewhere around me, but I'm not at the club. I'm let you. So yeah, it'll be taking place in the center this time around. And of course, for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, it's basically just a complete remake and stuff like that. Um, the yeah, graphics are kind of like, you know, basically, you know, like chibi, kind of like chibi and stuff like that. Like how Diamond Pearl when they first released, everybody liked that and stuff like that. It was kind of like a new era of Sprite. Let me take um, Sprites, then Black and White came out, and it kind of proved that game a little bit. It proved with Sinnoh did first, kind of. So basically, I mean, some of them were kind of pretty much saying the battle speed was up, the Black and White the battle speed was up. We had um, better animations and stuff like that for like, character attacks and whatever. So yeah. I kind of agree with that as well. Black and White was actually really good. The Black and White 2 poof, didn't just kind of copy and paste everything, but they had more animations. I like the character sprites, which actually were really good. A plus for that. So that was like kind of like the last era of because that was like the last game, Black and White were like the last kind of DS games. Of course, Sword and Shield were no, Alola was 3DS, I believe. Then now we have a Switch and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, probably the next main main two months will probably be like you know because everybody was thinking like oh yeah, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl could be like you know um, the sequel titles for Sword and Shield. Like guys, we already got DLC for the game because Sword and Shield when they first came out, like a lot of people were complaining like there was no content. Then like uh, you know as uh, Armor came out, there was really nothing there. Contra Hunter came out, we got some new stuff there. So um, it was kind of like a mixed bag of both you know for both games and stuff like that. So I can kind of agree with that. But it's cool they're remaking these games for everybody because a lot of people did go over these games. I grew up black and white because those were my very first Pokemon games. I knew what I was doing in white when I first played it, of course, you know, first game. But when I got to black, I was like, okay, I'm a little bit more experienced. I remember this area. I, I, I'm a little bit more experienced on top of my head. I remember this area. I remember that area. Like, I do remember, like, all this stuff, though. Then it's like, oh, um, you know, then when I played, like, um, moon, uh, Sun and Moon, I was like, okay, I know about this. I know about that a little bit. You know, then when I played Ultra Sun and Moon, I was like, okay, I'm pretty much kind of got everything down packed. Like, I know what Pokemon I want. I know what teams I want. And X and Y was, oh yeah, X and Y. I did play X and Y. X and Y was actually really fun as well. I pretty, pretty much played those games. But, like I said though, um, yeah, by the time I got like the, yeah, by, by the time I got like the Sun Moon, I was like, okay, I know what I want on my team. I know, I know which Pokemon I want exactly. I know what to do. I know what moves. Cause I like to, for me specifically, when I play a Pokemon game, I like to have like all my moves kind of, um, <clears throat> But I'm also a really dry right now. Um, when I play um, Pokemon game, or just in general, like I know what Pokemon I want. I like Kudra, Bialystic, Crocodile, Charizard, whatever starter I get. I know what like your moves I want. Besides the starter, but I, I like to um, use like different moves combinations. Like Charizard for me, I kept. I had. I just taught Dragon Pulse slash Flamethrower, like you know, a wing attack, or I think I, I think I changed that up for area lakes. Um, or fly. I think it was fly, so I can get like a good advantage, like next turn or whatever. So when I battle, I have to take damage or whatever. Unless someone pulls out thunder, then I'm screwed. But um, <laughs> pull out pull the Zapdos to start using thunder or zero. But um, yeah, um, that's why I like to do Pokemon. I like to kind of play in strategy. It's like okay, I'm just because for me, I just copy and paste my same moves. I don't like going to like a new game mode just so you know I have the Pokemon I have for this game and just change all its move sets because I like to kind of keep it simple. Like I've had Gudra for example. I, he's my elemental, like you know, he or she or whatever. Um, or my elemental coverage, like you know, fire, water, electric, all that stuff. Um, and Dark Pulse, of course. Those are my Gucci's my main um, elemental um, hero. Yes, <laughs> you go reference there. Um, so yeah. But then, of course, like I said, though, um, as well. Um, I keep his moves like it's kind of the same. Flame Thor, Muddy Water, Thunder, Dragon Pulse. And then when I go into the next game, I keep the same move set because I just don't feel like copying and pasting, like you know. A new, a new move set and stuff like that. I just keep everything kind of the same. Just no, no differentiating from no, no differentiating from nobody. Like cro like cro um, Groki. I meant to say I got Froakie and Crocodile in my head. Um, Crocodile. I have Dig. The main ones I always use: Dig, Earthquake, Crunch, and Outrage. Now for me, I think um, Incineroar. For me, um, I used. Thank you for Incineroar. I believe I used for Incineroar. I used. Flamethrower, Darkness Little Variant, Outrage, and I think, what's the last move I taught it? Um, Flamethrower, Outrage, Darkness Little Variant. Was it Cross Chop? I think Cross Chop. It was Cross Chop. I like to tell because we're balanced. Even though it's, you know, we can get some fight, I like to kind of keep playing. You know, so we got some kind of balance. So, um, did the cardio, I think I taught my extreme, extreme Speed, Dragon Pulse. Uh, or Sphere and Close Combat. And like for Call of Duty, I have, like, I'm just doing a good examples. I'm using that one as well. Again, Kalos and Sin are probably my two favorite Pokemon designs. Kalos kind of grow me more and more and more. 
and Sinnoh was just good because I love, I love the anime. I, I, I like watching the anime, going to the games, kind of copying and pasting what I learned from there. Um, but then on top of that, again, like I said though previously, I like doing that as well. So yeah, um, real quickly, the box art for this. I know I'm ranting on to talking and stuff like that, but I like doing this for its videos. Um, Brilliant Diamond, of course, get the full art right there, and Shining Pearl, I like the Brilliant Diamond one. Again, I don't care. I'm going to go over either, either one. Then, oh, then, um, in 2023, they could possibly, um, you know, um, you know, this is going to be ending this year. 2023, they're going to get like, a whole bunch of leaks like we did with Sword and Shield like last couple of years ago, or, like two years ago. But they're going to talk about like, you know, the game, the feel, all that stuff. Probably not because Pokemon like this kind of keep things on leaks down low, but um, you know, people like the data mine and go through the game and stuff like that, so I kind of get that as well. <clears throat> On well, top of that, again, 2023, they can just make, you know, they can go, like, Platinum remakes, so they can do that. I can play the forgot about Platinum. They can honestly do that, and, you know, or just more sort of show DLC. Because then everybody's going to want, like, a new game of the year, like Sonic does. But, yeah, that's pretty much I kind of want to cover in the today. Again, my whole Pokemon history, I just kind of went over pretty much, though. But, yeah, um, yeah, of course, we got the release dates, of course, for RC. It's, it's the 28th, 2022, pretty early that day. And, of course, you know, at the end of the, this year, we're going to get the remakes for Diamond of So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. We had um, Demi Yasek, I think, I'm, I'm just rating on from before. Yasek, I think I had Psychic, Psybeam, Thunder Wave, and was it Shadow Ball? Yeah, um, just as Pokemon moves up and down. I think Scrafty, I think I thought it was like High Jump Kick. I know, just, I'm just rating on right now. High Jump Kick. Um, what else did I teach it? Um, Rock Slide Payback, I think Headbutt. No, it was High Jump Kick, Rock Slide, I think Crunch, and Might Been Dig? Or Payback, one or two. I don't think what else, um, for Pokemon. I know, I'm just running on some of that. I'm sorry, I wrote down the first video. I just wanted my drawing for Pokemon, not like the express and go on and stuff like that. Um, but I could go ahead and end the video here, though, for sure. But yeah, that's why I love for Pokemon. Pretty much right there in a nutshell, though. But I could do like the series and stuff like that. I love the designs for Pokemon. Again, four and six are probably my favorite gens, just in general. I like to say, like, I like to say, like, Kalos and, like, for me specifically, I know everybody says gens, but I like to say, like, Kalos and, um, Carlos and like Santa and stuff like that. I like to say it. that's how I grew up with, with the anime and stuff like that. So yeah. Um see you guys later though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll be up again though. Make sure I stay safe. Wash your hands. Love this. Love you. Oh, come on. That's what you're talking about. You need to I'm just kidding though. So what do you guys think about all this control though? Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. I like it. I think it's great and everything. So of course, yeah. Um yeah, we've got the release date for um air release date and uh for RCS and of course for Diamond Pro remake, so it'll be on the 19th of November 2021 at the end of this year, confirming. And of course, we got the box art, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead into here though, for sure though. So, yeah, though, um, go back here. Yeah, dude, I just went over kind of information here, so yeah, I have the video just be resting on Pokemon, but again, I know you guys like this type of thing, even me. I even like Star Raptor. I think Talent Flame for flying, Talent Flame might be my favorite in the series. I like Star Raptor, but Talent Flame just hits me hard. I don't know, it hits, it hits me in my soft spot. <laughs> just be resting on though, and I said Charizard. I love the plan. Um, oh, Glaceon Umbreon, two of my favorite on um, evolutions. So yeah, um, I teach him pretty much the same with like Shadow Ball, Dig. I he's like you know, I think I taught my Umbreon Dark Pulse, you know, the Dark type move, and for Glaceon, I think I taught like Ice Shard and Ice Beam. Kind of mainly just other stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. Sorry about those little rants though. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stuff like that. Of course, just ranting and going on and stuff like that. I just I like doing it for a lot of my, a lot of my videos. Kind of ranting and talking about some stuff like this, just in case if you know I can't like really you know have that much information, I like to talk and go all this. So, yeah, see you guys there though. Again, though, so.